Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Dagmara, I'm from the Digital Bunch, and today we're going to show you another AI tool that we've tried and tested, and we're really looking forward to what you think about it. This time we're going to deviate a little bit from the visual and dive into the audio, because we're interested in what kind of tools can actually help us to create sound and music for our animations. Take a look and let us know what you think in the comments. Today, we'll show you what tools we've been testing in the area of sound design and how creators can start testing AI tools to improve their work using sound. One thing that immediately caught our attention is AudioCraft, the code base developed by Meta AI to help with all generative audio needs. Within AudioCraft, there are two tools in particular, AudioGen and MusicGen. AudioGen is designed to interpret a text description of an acoustic scene and generate the environmental sound corresponding to that description. In other words, you type what it needs to sound like. MusicGen, as you might have probably guessed by now, is the equivalent that can generate high-quality sound samples, both mono and stereo, based on text descriptions or melodic features. This is at least what we read on Meta AI's website. Now we wanted to try it out for ourselves. Sound, as you all know, is an important part of animations and really helps to make such content stand out. When you're a solo creator or you have limited time or budget, there's often no way to hire a sound designer or tweak your background music. And when you don't have the means to do so, maybe AI can really be a quick fix for these kinds of projects. We thought this could also be helpful for any YouTube content that can't be copyrighted. If you make it yourself using AI, this should ensure that your video isn't flagged, despite a lot of controversies that AI copywriting still sparks. Okay, let's start with the installation process. We use Pinocchio. You can find it on this website, pinocchio.computer. It's a browser that allows you to install and run AI apps, which is super useful. When you install this, you can preview a number of different AI tools, and we picked Audio Gradio. We click here to download it. We let it do its thing, and then we land on this interface allowing us to choose between starting audio gen or music gen. We couldn't start both at the same time, these are two separate tools. This runs the script and you should be able to find your URL to copy into your internet browser. And we're in! Here's the audio gen interface when you can start typing your prompts for sound design. You can play around with this interface and test it a bit. We can set it up to two minutes, which is quite long and should cover most of your needs for sound in animations. The most important input here is the text prompt. The other parameters only affect the output a bit. To give you a bit of an example, top K and top P are sampling strategies, and from our research it seems that it's not really advised to change both of these values at the same time. Temperature. This is a parameter that we have found adds some noise. A setting of 1 gave us an isolated sound, for example, of a barking dog, and a temperature of 9 gave us the result of a sound with more ambient noise mixed into the scene. This is really pretty self-explanatory, and the results that we got were pretty good and quick. Honestly, if you need some short sounds, you can generate them here, and it's a reliable tool that is also fairly simple to use. Now let's move to Music Gen. This is more complicated, but still fairly easy to get the hang of. There are four models, Melody, Medium, Small and Large, and from what we noticed, Large takes longer to compute but delivers better quality, while the Small is probably using a smaller sample, so takes less time, but the quality of the sound is not as clean as with the Large model. The melody model, however, is for cases when you want to take your own melody and input it into the model. For this example, we have used a piece by Mozart. And we want to change it to classic rock. Let's listen to what this sounds like. Do you feel Mozart could work better as an electronic house from the 90s? Not a problem. Here's what we get.
If you're lacking inspiration, you can always try to ask ChatGPT to give you very specific ideas and good descriptions of genres. Let's see what happens when we just copy and paste the prompts from ChatGPT into Music Gen's input area. To give you an idea of how this can work in practice, we picked a short piece of an animation we did three years ago and we'll now add some music and sound effects. We have some plates and objects flying around, so we'll be looking for some sounds that can bring this to life. We also want a bit of a cheesy whoosh sound for when we transition between the dynamic shots and maybe some clanking plates to make this shot more immersive. Okay, this sounds pretty cool, so we'll go ahead and download this. Then we'll add some background music, so we'll do a quick prompt to see what AI can give us. Sometimes you can change just one word in your prompt and it will change the music completely, so it's worth testing and trying different things, including synonyms. Also, when you submit the same prompt, you also get different results, so each time your output will be completely unique. If you like something, make sure to save it. Now let's put all this together and mix it in using an editing software of our choice. And here's the final result. If you have any questions regarding this specific tool, let us know. We'll be more than happy to help you out. And in the meantime, we're looking forward to seeing your outputs and what you've been able to create using this tool. Thanks for watching and see you next time.